talking about setting amplifier gains. I've been seeing a lot of dangerous stuff lately around town, so I thought a nice tutorial on setting amp gains would be necessary. First things first, the tools need test tones. Um, depending on if you're doing highs or lows, we'll go over that later. Calculator to calculate your voltages that you need. A multimeter to read it. And it's optional to have an oscilloscope or oscope. But we're not going to use one of those today. Alright, to start with some uh, settings, you want your head unit to be at zero or at 75% volume. No bass boost at all if you're doing substage. Keep the bass EQ flat as well. And if you're doing highs, you want to keep the EQ flat on that too. Start the gain for the amplifier at its lowest point to make sure uh, you get some good accurate readings to start. Alright, back to the test tones necessary. For the sub stage, I recommend using a 60 hertz tone. For the high stage, I recommend using a 1000 hertz tone. Now for a little physics, the equation needed is um, the square root of the impedance in ohms times the power in watts will equal the volts AC. You want to do the AC volts, not DC volts. For an example, if you wanted to go for 25 watts RMS, you take the square root of 4 ohms times 25 watts RMS, and you would get 10 volts AC. Alright, time to set the gains. As you see, we have the voltmeter set to volts AC. Since we're not in the car, we're going to be using the uh, power supply as our 12.5 volt source. Hooked up to the amplifier. Today we're going to be using a Crossfire CFA 402 to show the demonstration. It's rated at 400 watts RMS bridge mono at 4 ohms. And so that's what we're going to shoot for. Another thing to note is when you're setting gains, if you have multiple gains, each gain has to be set independently. We only have one on this amplifier, so we're just going to have to set the one in bridge mono for the one channel or for both channels bridged. So our source unit is going to be my laptop and here we go with the setting of the gains. So you want to watch our tone is going to be 60 hertz since we're using low doing a substage. So with the gain all the way down we got 4.5 volts and the tone varies every five seconds so it's going to go down and back up. So, as you see, I'm going to increase the gain here. And then when I increase the gain, the voltage will increase. Now, since our amp goes to 400 watts RMS at 4 ohms, our equation would give us a number of 20 volts AC. So, we're going to keep increasing until we reach up. Oh, went too far. When you go too far, you just turn the game back down. Oh, almost there. All right, 20.5. A little high. All right, 19.8. So that's pretty close. We're going to stick with that. Now, also I want you to note that we don't have any speaker wires in or any speakers you want to make sure you do this without your speakers connected a resistant load will throw off your calculations and throw off the voltage so just put in the test leads that's all for now any questions just contact me thanks